uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, today we're going to talk a, a little bit about the world of barter and uh, particularly how organized barter can help your business grow. Uh, next slide, please. You might be familiar with uh, barter, but uh, what is organized barter? I like to use the example of Jake the jeweler and Jeff the painter. As long as Jake needs his house painted and Jeff needs a diamond ring and the price is about the same, they can barter back and forth directly and everything works fine. But what so often happens is that Jake wants his house painted, but Jeff does want the diamond ring, or the diamond ring is $15,000 and the house painting is $4,000, so it doesn't work for them to do it directly. To solve this problem, they could both join an organized barter exchange like the one that I work with. Organized barter exchanges have their own currency, which is usually called a barter dollar. A barter dollar is equal to a cash dollar. You earn the currency when you sell something in the exchange. This barter dollar is then good to spend with any other member of the exchange to purchase the products and services you need. Next screen. Back to my example of Jake and Jeff when they become members of an exchange. Now Jake can get his house painted. Jeff doesn't have to take the diamond ring. Jeff, 4,000 barter dollars that he can spend with any other member of the exchange. He can get a new website, do search engine optimization, buy new tires, or take a trip to Cancun, or hundreds of other things. Next slide, please. We want to remind business that cash is always king in your business. Well, if that's the case, why would you ever want to barter? Barter is meant to add on to your cash business and never compete with it. When you think of a sale, most people understand that cash is best. So you don't want to compare a cash sale and a barter sale because you would almost always prefer cash. What I would suggest is you compare a barter sale with no sale at all. That is how the benefit of barter is best understood. As a business owner, you're spending your time doing whatever you do to build your business. You're networking, marketing, advertising, hiring salespeople, or whatever you can do to build your business. By joining a barter exchange, it will become just one more thing that helps you build your business. Next slide, please. Organized barter can add three to 5% onto the sales of a business. You never want to barter more than 10% of your sales. Members of barter exchanges that earn barter dollars use them to buy things that they now pay cash for or things that maybe aren't in the budget. Maybe they need a new website or search engine optimization that just isn't in the budget, but now they can afford it if they get some extra barter dollars by joining a barter exchange. Barter is also great for new businesses where cash is particularly tight for some of the things I just mentioned. Customers that buy with barter also have friends, relatives, and business associates that are cash buyers. So businesses that open their doors to barter often acquire new customers when they get referrals. Next slide, please. Some things to look for in a barter exchange. Remember, you want to be easily able to spend the barter dollars you earn for the products and services you need. So here are the, some of the things to remember. Join an exchange that has thousands of members, not just a few or a few hundred, because in that way, it'll be easier to find the things you need. Find an organization that employs brokers that will help you find what you need so you don't have to spend hours on the internet trying to find the exact item with little or no help at all. You want the exchange you join to not only have a large number of members, but also have many of the products and services that you could actually use. If there's hundreds of members that uh, don't have things that you want and need and can use, they're of little value. Probably the most important thing to look for is an organization that not only has the ability to sell what you have to offer, but has the personnel and ability to go out and find what you need, even if they don't have that as a current member that thing that you really want and need to make your business grow. Next slide, please. Remember, you will join a barter exchange for primarily two reasons. One, 
you want to find new customers. You want to buy the products and services you need without getting the added benefit of cash referrals from your satisfied barter customers. Some great examples of how to use barter the best. Now remember, barter is extra added income that you're not not normally going to see from the way you run your business normally. So the, look at this as just extra three, four, five percent uh, that's uh, coming because you, simply you joined this barter exchange. One of the things that I like is to be able to use those barter dollars you earn to market for cash business that you can then use in your business. Most organized barter exchange have many different advertising opportunities. They have television, they have radio, they have magazines, they have newspapers, they have digital advertising of all kinds of things. Not normally are you going to be able to pay Google or Facebook with barter dollars, but you are going to be able to hire people to create the ads that you put on Facebook and on Google. You're going to be able to print postcards that you can mail to people, all kinds of things that you can use your barter dollars for to generate cash business. You're going to be able to have increased cash flow because you're going to be able to use your barter dollars to buy things instead of having to pay cash and you can save your cash for other more important things. Another great thing that uh, barter can do is they have oftentimes a good barter exchange will have a great travel department. So business travel or vacations, uh, you can take advantage of that. Uh, Les, if you could uh, click ahead a, a couple of uh, uh, things. I have a couple pictures of some things that I've used barter for as far as the travel is concerned. There's a picture in there uh, somewhere of the Claremont Inn and Winery. It's, it's the next picture. Uh, the Claremont Inn and Winery in Stratton, Colorado. That's a bed and breakfast. It's all inclusive. Just a gorgeous place. Has wine. Uh, my wife and I stayed there uh, in June of uh, last year, even due to the COVID times, we had a great time. You look at the next slide there, uh, that is a, uh, a picture of our hotel room. We went to St. Lucia over New Year's, uh, again, a gorgeous hotel. That picture right there that you're looking at is from our hotel room. Uh, so it's a wonderful place, and honestly, we would have never been able to afford it had it not been for Bart. Um, the other idea that you uh, can use barter for is the real estate business. I have a, a cute story that I like. Uh, if you go back now two slides less, you uh, get a, a picture of that uh, real estate building that you had there a minute ago. Uh, this is a, a picture of a building that uh, my wife and I built when she moved her business here. That building is in Rockford, Minnesota. It's a 50,000 square foot office warehouse. Uh, when we built it, it cost us about $2 million and we were able to barter about $400,000 of the cost of that, which meant in a nutshell, I sold $400,000 of my products with a manufacturing company I owned at that time that I would have never been able to sell otherwise. So I sold the product. I had 400,000 barter dollars. Now I had 150,000 cash, labor and materials in that $400,000, but I also had $250,000 profit that I would have never seen otherwise. So when I used those 250,000 barter dollars to pay for my concrete, my asphalt, my air conditioning, my carpet, my drapes and other things, that was $250,000 cash I didn't have to come up with. And seeing as how I didn't have the $250,000, this whole project would have never been possible without that barter component. So my wife has been bartering in her business for many years and that's this building is really how I learned the barter business. So when I got out of that business, I quickly got in the barter business because I saw how well it worked. If you move on uh, past the, uh, the pictures of the travel, there's a couple other things uh, I would mention. My wife, Diana, in her business, which is in that building uh, today that I, you, we just saw, she barters and sells about $100,000 of her products every year. She also purchases about $100,000 worth of goods and services every year using barter. Here are the few things that she buys in the barter world. The carpet for our home, 
the carpet for that building you saw there, the roof on that building. We put a new roof on our home on Barter. Uh, the asphalt and the concrete uh, in that building, part of it, uh, we put an asphalt, uh, I'm sorry, a concrete driveway at our home, uh, ceramic tile. My wife uses an accountant that she pays for in barter. Uh, she's hired a number of attorneys that she uh, gets on barter, plumbers, electricians, uh, the wallpaper in that building, uh, the copy machine she's used, several of them she's bought on barter. Uh, printers. Uh, she prints her catalogs, her flyers, uh, promotional material of all different kinds she prints on barter. She's purchased a forklift, uh, countertops. Uh, we buy all kinds of wine on barter. Uh, we, she buys all of her promotional products on barter. Uh, advertising. She advertises in magazines and uh, television stations, uh, different things, uh, all on barter. We buy our eyeglasses on barter. We go to the dentist on barter, uh, many, many other things. Uh, the way my wife makes barter work the best for her is that every time she wants to buy something, she thinks, can I barter this? And I kiddingly say uh, that she'll call me up and uh, uh, say, uh, David, I need this or I need that. And if I have it by dinner time, I'm in good shape. And if I, I, I don't, oftentimes I'm in, in trouble. Uh, other uses for barter are to sell excess inventory at retail prices. A lot of people have excess inventory around. They can't sell it. Not only can you sell it in the barter world, but you can oftentimes get a full price for it. Uh, hotels and restaurants are another great uh, use for barter. Not only the, the barter members can eat and stay at the hotels, but the hotels themselves fill up empty rooms, they fill up empty tables excess capacity in the hotels and restaurants and really any business that has excess capacity, barter is a great way to fill it up. Uh, and kind of the last thing is a, is a charitable organization that I'll mention. It's nice at the end of the year, if you wanna make a donation to somebody or you need it for tax benefits, to have a charity that takes barter dollars because you can get that same donation with your barter dollars instead of having to spend cash for them. And the charity can take the barter dollars and turn them into useful things that they can need to grow and service their charity. So all in all, barter is kind of a fun and interesting way to expand your business. Uh, I hope you'll try it. If you do, I'm happy to help in any way and answer any questions. And I really appreciate your time and thanks so much.